Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our monthly Angel Scope for September 2020 for the sign of Aries. So let's take a deep breath um, and kind of really tune in. And uh, what I'm seeing right away is a symbol of abundance. I see a mushroom. That's my symbol for abundance and the presence of the fairies as well. Um, and they're writing out the word safe and they're repeating this word um, multiple times. And they're writing the word progress progressive or progression. So what you might be looking for Aries, and they're writing in the angel number six, which is about um, to not worry. Um, it seems like there's something that you're maybe focused on in a way that you're creating some anxiety or worries, some, some concerns, and that this is going to take time. So I feel like it's like what you need is going to happen, but it's going to happen in stages, um, that it's going to take some time for the matter to be resolved. There's, it's likely that there are some things that you have to go through um, in terms of your own awakening and your own awareness and development. So this is a process that um, transforms you in a sense but they want you to know like from the very beginning although at the beginning you're not, maybe not feeling that way you're really um, feeling anxious and focused on your anxieties but they want you to know that that you're in a safe place and just be very patient with the progression of things and i just saw the word sale s-a-l-e so i don't know if you've put something up for sale um, and or you're looking at purchasing something for sale, either way, maybe um, it doesn't sort of go according to plan or it doesn't just sort of go one, two, three, and then boom. Maybe there are some hiccups. Maybe there's some stages. Um, maybe it builds in some way. Um, and so that they're writing that there's just some important lessons for you to pay attention to. Uh, to um, they're writing the word request or requested so you know um, and the word hard so I feel like um, if you requested something in a certain way that may make it difficult for you so you may want to be a little bit more flexible a little bit more um open or really focus on what you really want you know focus on what's like what is it you really want you may have too many things that you're throwing into the mix and if you focus on the thing that you really want you may actually um put a better energy out there you may um actually simplify matters and allow things to come to a, 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 a swift conclusion all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the cards and see which archangel we're working with for this month and also um, the message from that archangel. So we have Archangel Raphael, and this is the lover's card. So this could indicate that um, something is coming together, that you found something that's the that you really resonate with. And so... If you that's the case, don't push for it. You know, don't don't exert a lot of extra effort, which may create, which they're writing the word confusion. So sometimes we have to just sort of trust and uh, and and trust our inner knowing, like trust that inner resonance, trust that feeling that this is perfect for you. This is right for you. But I'm talking about in the way that you're inspired and you feel it in your heart as if your heart is full of this very essence of knowing, not some kind of anxiety um, that's sort of forcing the issue, okay, and putting pressure where it's not necessarily, where it's not necessary, Okay, let's just put it that way. Um, so let things integrate. Let it come together. 
Okay, I don't know why they keep writing the word oppression. Um, don't. So, hmm. I don't know. I can't feel the sense of that word. I know what it means, but I can't feel it in the sense of this reading, um, as if you know you feel. So maybe there's a maybe you carry something with you, like this energy, where you feel put down um, or put upon in some way, and don't carry this with you. Don't bring this into this um, event or this part of this um, this particular thing that's happening in your life. Don't bring that energy in. So just be aware of it. Don't, don't be like, you know, on pins and needles with your sword in your hand ready to fight your, your demon, your inner demons. Just be aware. That's all we need with fear is awareness. We don't need to combat. We just need awareness so that we stay out of our own way. If you do put any more effort into it than that, you're going to bring the essence of that part of yourself. You're going you're gonna to provoke that and bring it into the ring where it's not going to be of any use or help to you. Okay, so let's take a look at the message from your guardian angel. Okay, and this is the messenger of action. And the card says, and this is, this is the page of... Um, Wands, okay? So this is, you know, somebody who is just just discovered something that they're really excited about. And there's a lot of, you know, opportunity. There's a lot of, uh, of um, you know, like a rejuvenation of energy or your energy is renewed or refreshed. You feel young and, and sort of, you know, uh, that feeling when you were really young and um, you just... We're ready to go at any opportunity that was placed in front of you. So, you know, um, the card says something new and exciting related to creativity or your career comes to your attention. You feel eagerness to learn and you're ready to get going, although you may feel insecure. Do it anyway. All right. This card represents someone in your life or maybe you who is creative, enthusiastic, and fascinated by life, and who wants to try everything. So this card has that energy of that enthusiasm and that, you know, uh, going all out. And the thing is, is to, you don't want to contain this energy, but you definitely don't want to force it. You want to, don't want to put anything else in there. Let it be what it is. Trust it. Go for it. Um, but just know that much of this is already coming together for you. So you maybe want to be more in awe, be open minded, be flexible, you know, be be ready to engage whatever feels right to you, because this card says, you know, carefully weigh your decisions. So it's about, the, you know, the lover's card in the traditional, like in the Marseille, is about that choice. And it's more this traditional where we just see this um, lovers. But here, they do give us that choice because it's reminiscent of the Garden of Eden and making that decision, being tempted, um, you know, to go against your own better judgment. So don't get caught, don't be tempted to go against your own better judgment. Just... Don't be excessive is one of the words I'm seeing, okay? Just keep it simple. Go with the flow. Um, be open to learning. Be open to new opportunities. But just trust, know that this is going to take a, some time to fall into place, okay, as I said earlier. So um, I'd like to thank you for joining me. And just a quick reminder for those of you who are new to my channel and are just um, catching up on what's going on, I am offering, um, since the pandemic, my $77 um, half hour reading for a full hour, um, which you can find on my um, Angel School page at the, in the link below this video. On the services page, there's not a, a special link for this. You would just choose that half hour reading. When you do, um, on business days, not on the weekend, within 24 hours, I'll, I will send you an email confirmation with 
um, noting your payment and the special offer for the month of September. Okay. Also, I do daily cart messages on my YouTube uh, community uh, page, as well as on my Facebook page. You can find that link below as well. And also I do weekly um, angel, angel readings. So you can find all of this on my channel. So I wish you all the Aries a successful month. And we I will be praying for your patience and your faith. God bless you.